I didn't know you can move things with your mind. Yeah, it's nothing special, really. Where the hell have you two been? Wolf crew, you know better than to leave this hotel. You had Charlie worried sick. Oh, would you line up on them sugar tits? They're back and safe and sound. No need to go and blow your casket. <sighs> Look, the point is he shouldn't be out of the hotel. Who knows what would happen if someone found out that he isn't from here? I'll give you the chance to save yourself from punishment. I know you love the game, would you rather? Yeah? Well, there's someone you have yet to meet. And it just so happens he loves games. So, if you can beat him in a game of would you rather, you'll receive no punishment at all. Deal? Fine. Who am I facing? Why, you'll be facing me, my dear boy. Do you think you can beat me in a game of Would You Rather? Bring it on, Radio Demon! Well, I must say, that was a fine game of Would You Rather. Thanks, you were quite the challenge. You're not so bad yourself. Now then, who's ready for some jambalaya? <laughs> Ooh, I love jambalaya. Excellent! My mother used to make excellent jambalaya. Serious question. With shrimp or crawfish? Both, my dear boy. Both. <laughs> awesome! Nifty, would you mind making some, please? Of course! Wow, thanks, Nifty. No problem, darling. I mean, Wolfie. <laughs> what, what the, the hell, hell just happened? happened? Compromise, my good people. Also, I was told not to harm our dear Wolfku here. By who? By me. <laughs> Dad? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, my dear. Is that any way to greet your loving father who's come all this way to see you? Hmm? No. I'm sorry, Dad. H Hi, Daddy! Uh, it's good to see you! Of course, but what are you doing here? As I said before, Charlie, I've come to see you. I don't need an invitation to see my own beloved daughter, do I? Of course not. It was just so unexpected and sudden. Well, I like to be spontaneous every once in a while, my dear. Hmm. But I guess that wouldn't be a sufficient enough answer for you, I suppose. Well, you see, dear, when you keep bragging to your mother and myself about this new so-called pet from another world, I must say, it did pique my interest. So I figured I'd come over and see for myself. Thank you for keeping me updated on the daily uptake, Maggie. You're welcome, sir. I mean, Lord. Maggie! You told him about our business? Well, hun, it's not like he didn't already know, and I figured it wouldn't hurt since you already talked to him about Wolfie. Charlie, don't be so hard on the poor dear. She was only doing what I requested. And Vaggy, please, call me father. After all, you do plan on marrying my daughter, don't you? Well, uh, I... I... Uh, um... <clears throat> married to Ch Ch Charlie. <sighs> Jeez, Vex. Getting more red and you end up looking like a prolapsed asshole. Shut the fuck up, Spider Slut. Oh, so help me, I'll beat the hell out of you. Ooh, is that your angry face? I'm so scared. No, this is the I'm gonna kick your face in look. Oh, just try me, sugar tits. Just try me. I hit you so fucking hard, your chest might actually grow some decent sized tits. Oh, that is it. I've had it with you. Bring it on, bitch. All right, come here, you little bitch. I may be small, but I'm a little fireball. <laughs> oh, it's fucking on, carpet muncher. <laughs> <laughs> Take ow, that! Ow, ow, ow. And that's without my spear, you little bitch! You think your arms give you an advantage? No! -uh. I'm gonna my uh, little uh, arm! I'm gonna get rid uh, of your eyes! I'll uh, probably transplant uh, it to uh, mine! How's uh, that? Yeah, does it dirt taste? Does it taste like Charlie's purple fucking pussy? You motherfucker! Oh, no, no, you're running away! Oh, you're gonna get it now, bitch! You're getting all of this fucking uh, shit! Uh, fuck you! Uh, 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 
You're choking? Oh, I thought your experience was your breath control. I thought you're so used to deep throating. I got some of your flat. Oops, there's a patch right there. Oh. No one's saving you from this. I might just slice you up and deliver your body to your brothers and sisters or whatever family you have left. Uh, 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 fuck. Surrender now, bitch. <laughs> oh, there's never a dull moment here, is there, Nifty? Nope, not at all. Anywho, after getting all the info I needed from Vaggy here, I decided to come and meet this Wolfku myself. Seeing how he has done something I thought impossible. And that was to bring out the evil demonic nature in my daughter. I must say, it's truly impressive work, and for that reason alone, I would not have him harmed. At least for now, anyway. Wait, what are you talking about? Bringing out my demonic nature? I'm perfectly fine. Really? Because so far, you've managed to enslave a person against their will, turn them into your minion, keep them locked up and isolated from others not within the hotel. If that's not evil, I don't know what is, my dear. He, uh... He has a good point. Indeed. Yeah. Ditto. Well, you see, he wanted to come live with me, so of course I had to take him for myself. I couldn't allow something so adorable and wonderful on his own. Charlie, I can sense your demonic nature growing more since the last time we talked. It's no coincidence that they are connected to it. The evil growing within you just waiting to come out. I am not evil, Dad! <sighs> My girl. Okay, okay. So maybe I'm a little more demonic. What's your point? My point is anyone who can bring this kind of raw emotion in you deserves my respect. Which brings me to you. Me? Yes. I find your existence fascinating. You've managed to bring out the worst in my daughter. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry? <laughs> no, my boy, this is a good thing you've done. I've grown tired of my daughter's foolish notions of trying to save damned souls. It's absolutely and utterly nonsensical. But she insists upon this meaningless crusade. Ha! Reminds me of the fourth crusade of 1202. Ha <laughs> ha Which brings me to why I'm here. I'm interested in this game of Would You Rather that you seem to be playing with everyone. Sounds like fun, and I always enjoy a rather good challenge. So, are you up for the task, hmm? Well, sure, but... Excellent. Let us begin. Wait, right now? Well, I'm gonna go now. This is not what I signed up for, so I'm going back to my booze. Good luck, kid. Have a wonderful time with that, Husker. So nifty. How's about we go make that jambalaya for everyone? Yes, sir. Do you think Wolfku will like my cooking? Nifty. I'm sure he'll eat it right up. And possibly have you for dessert. <laughs> you, you really think so? Well, there's that. Or you can have him for dessert. <laughs> Whatever tickles your fancy, my dear. <gasps> Wolfku for dessert? <laughs> that sounds very delicious! Come now, my dear. And good luck to you, Wolfku. Do try to give a good performance. Good luck, dear. I meant honey. No, uh, I mean babe. No, no, I mean uh, good luck, my Wolfie. Not very subtle, are you, dear? What can I say? I want what I want. <laughs> and that's what I love about you. I'll get you next time, you carpet-munching bitch. 
I barely broke a sweat kicking your backside inside out. It's probably the most action you've gotten in quite a while, huh? <laughs> you dirty one-eyed bitch. <laughs> as much as I want to continue with a little game of yours, I think we should let my future father-in-law have his fun with Wolfie. So we're leaving, Angel. <sighs> if he wanted fun, he could just ask me. Now, Angel! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't get your panties in a twist, sugar tits. Now, Wolfie, come here. Try not to embarrass Charlie, okay, little Wolfie? Or I'll have to punish you myself. <laughs> Let's go, sugar tits! Good luck, Wolfie boy. I'm coming! Are you coming too, Charlie? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Be careful, Wolfie. Now then... Shall we begin? <laughs> Let's go! Alright, this is Would You Rather, uh, Lucifer, so, um, yeah, this is the game, and, uh... Yeah, I see, hmm. Yeah, uh, so this is Would You Rather, as you know, um, the game where we're basically asked a bunch of questions, and we have to decide on whether or not Uh, I, I, I picked destroy Alistair. Wait. What is your problem with Alistair? You're the, I mean, he's the one, you're the one that summoned it. Okay. What? I mean, nothing. Um. Yes, but have you met the man? He's so bloody annoying. Well, well, we'll have to find out who's more. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do this. So, um, the first. Yes, one, yes, let's do this. The first question is, would you rather be able or would you rather be unable to experience sadness or be unable to experience anger? I like both. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, to be honest with you, I never get angry. So, um, I, I would say unable to experience anger. Aren't you the... Wait, aren't you upset that your daughter isn't following in your footsteps and is trying to... Oh, yes, but that's sadness. <laughs> that's sadness? I thought that was anger. Sounded like anger. No, no, no. Not really angry with her. I'm just sad that she's not following, you know, in daddy's footsteps. I mean, who, who's going to be my heir? Uh, blame me. I don't know, actually. That's a good point. Maybe you should have had a son. Hey, that is very good, actually. Maybe I should put up pamphlets, you know, um, and like, have people audition. Wouldn't hurt. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Beyond to experience sadness, I guess, because I like getting angry. Uh, it's kind of kind of my thing so yeah oh yes yes it's how it's how you how you channel your your inner energies and stuff right yeah kind of kind of yeah but uh let's see who won this and uh yeah let's do it and oh, blimey, yes, look at that, that was look at close that. though that was that was close yes there's a lot of angry people out there that's what that is a lot of angry birds most definitely Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather live in ancient Ooh. Greece or ancient Egypt? Would I be Pharaoh? Ooh, that is a good one, actually. Yeah, because yeah. if you live in ancient what, what, Egypt... What would you say? Well, if you're most likely to be a slave in both, but I think you're more than likely to gain your freedom in ancient Greece than, than Egypt, unless you're Moses. Oh, yes, so, yes. Uh, well, I think with, with ancient Greece, AKA, you know, ancient Greece, they would have spoken a Latin language, which is very close to the angel language in Nuke. So I would be able to converse with them. If I went to Egypt, I probably wouldn't even know how to ask the directions to the toilet. I don't think they ha uh, well, as I was saying, it's like, you're most likely to be a slave in Egypt, and, uh, unless you're like, like, Pharaoh or someone of importance. I mean, then again, if I was a citizen... No, no, I am, I am someone of importance. Well, then, I am the king! Well, then again, like, if you're a citizen... I mean, being a citizen of Egypt is pretty cool, so... I don't... That's a tough... I mean, I'm gonna go with Egypt, even though I agree about Greece. I'm gonna go with Egypt. Just to, just to you know, make it more interesting. Yes, I'm going to stick with Greece. Alright, here we go. Wow. Oh, look at that! Not surprised. <laughs> I, I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I totally knew it. But, yeah, all right. Yes, 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 yes. Well, yes, I'll give you kudos for that one. You, you're almost on the money. <laughs> this one's, uh, you want to read this one? Oh, my. This one's very unfortunate for both answers. <clears throat> so, if you had to pick a disease, 
Would you rather be a leper or be a midget? Is it a bloody disease? I'm only five foot six. I'd People who mean midget. That. that mean I have some kind of disease? No. This is this is prejudice against small people, and I'm a small person. You know, I, I'd rather be a midget. No, screw, screw the screw this this game. It, leopards actually have a bad skin disorder. I'd rather be a midget. Let's yeah. let's kick him in the shins. Damn right. Yeah. No yes. surprising. Look at that. One more six, and it would be the uh, the number of the beast. You know? Screw those thirty-four people. They'd rather be alone. Well, got got my favorite people. number. <laughs> I can't believe they said midget was disease. Disease. I'm writing to this company. What are they called? Ether. Yes, yes. I'm gonna write to them. Please do. Send them my regards. Um. Yes, I will. Would you rather only be able to meow yet n nine lives? Wait. Only be able to meow yet live nine lives, or be oh able to talk and live once. Um, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, we do talk and only live once. Well, actually, I can live forever, well, but I only have one life. Basically, would you rather be a cat or a human? Basically. Hmm. Well, cats. You know, they, they sleep all day, they're looked after, they believe that their masters are actually their pets. Hmm, the life of a cat. I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather, you know, be able to talk and live once. Uh, you can do so much more. Same here, um, I, I like my vocabulary and meowing isn't, uh, isn't in my description of what I want, so I'm with you. Yes, and yes. I mean, wouldn't. you can't exactly, like, tell, you know, uh, your daughter just how disappointed you are if you go and meow. And we won. Look at that. 73% landslide. Yep. Old victory. Sweet victory. If only I had those odds when I was in the heaven, I might have actually survived up there a bit longer. Well, but never mind. This is gross. Always next time. You can read this one. <laughs> oh, my. <clears throat> If you were starving, would you rather eat a plate full of poop or eat a human foot? I'll take the hmm. human foot for, for two dollars. You know, you know. Yes, I will take a human foot. I'm a uh, wolf. Please, can I have barbecue humans. sauce? Is it fried? Yeah, I'm a wolf. Wolves devour humans, so yeah, this is nothing for me. I'm just another day of the week. Well, I Even eat me. human souls, so I mean. I mean, a whole human probably doesn't taste much different, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, does that have to be a foot? Yeah. Can I get a leg or a thigh? Perhaps an arm? That would have been much yes, more... Yes, a foot doesn't have a lot of meat on it, does it really? I It'd mean, be like eating feet, a frog's leg. Pig feet isn't that bad, so I imagine the human feet... I imagine the human feet has a lot more meat than, than a pig, and a pig is pretty delicious, so... Yeah, I'll go with the human foot. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah. No, look Why at that, 75 percent. 75 percent, you, you, ugh, 25 There's some sick people out there. You're sick, disgusting. Yes, yes. This is what happens when you give people access to the internet. I, I, disgusting ugh. people. Ugh. Ugh. Absolutely. Ugh. Would you rather always be naked? Or always be an issue. I'd rather always be naked. Free ballin'. Commando. Well, to be honest with you, I mean, you're not far off always being naked anyway. And I am an angel, so I have the perfect form. But the difference between so, you and uh, me is always be my, naked my be nakedness fine. is a lot more acceptable. Well, yes, yes, but I'm the king of hell, and if anyone decided that uh, they were offended by me, then I just turned to dust. Just smack them with your angelic dick. Well, you know, I could do, I could do that and turn them to dust. It would be. <laughs> that, what a way to go! <laughs> Died from a dick slap from the king of hell. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, uh, ye old uh, dick slap of death from the devil. Wow. What would Charlie would think of that? Or your wife? Uh, I'm sure she wouldn't like that. I mean, uh, th that's pretty disgusting. Yeah, it, it, it is. All right. Well, uh, we're both in agreement. Always be naked. Yes, yes. And no surprising, we win again! Why would people want to be itchy? What's wrong? Maybe they are already itchy. Yeah, maybe they just want to scratch their itch, I don't know. Well, they should take a bite, filthy people. <laughs> yeah, that would help uh, the itchiness, but I think they'd still be itchy overall. It just kind of sedates yes, it yes. overall. That, that would be aggravating. Almost as aggravating as, uh, you know, dinner with my brother Michael. What do you got against Michael? 
Oh, he's smelly. I hate him. <laughs> a lot of family issues I'm, I'm, I'm unraveling from you there, Lucy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, All of my brothers and sisters are pretty, you know, ridiculous, if I'm honest. All right, so next up we have a uh, movie director. You can read this one. Ooh, yes, yes. Which, uh, sorry, watch a movie directed by... Would you rather James Cameron or Steven Spielberg? Ooh. Now, I must say, I do like James Cameron, especially for his uh, take on Alien. Although I do like Steven Spielberg as well. He has made some classics. I'm torn because James Cameron gave me Terminator, you know. Yes, and, Terminator and, 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 as well, yes. And, and, but Did Steven's, he do Predator but, as well? Yeah, but but but, uh, but Steven Spielberg gave me a lot of good stuff. He gave, he gave me E.T. Well, uh, yes, yes, yes. That, that filthy helped, little meatball revival. He helped with Star Wars. He helped with. He gave me the Animaniacs. I mean, uh, it, oh, yes, it's a yes. that's a tough. Don't forget them little devils. It's tough, you know. It's a tough one, but uh, what about? Well, I don't know. What do hmm. you think? I think Steven Spielberg for his years of service and 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 achievements. James Cameron, I love you, but unfortunately, old Stevie Boy here gets my vote. You know what? I'm gonna go with James Cameron just because I know you're going with with, with um, Steven Spielberg. So either way, it gives respect to both guys. I must go. Absolutely. With the I think that's fine. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And I'm not surprised you won. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yes! The, ah, not surprised the at all. Does the spill. Yes, oh. 68%. Wow. Not bad. It's, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty close. Yeah, it was pretty good. Let's do one more. Um. Oh, okay, okay. Here, here we go. Would you rather be one foot taller than you are now? So, wow, one foot taller. Or, or wait, one foot smaller. Okay, one foot, or be one foot taller than you are now. So one foot smaller and one foot taller. Um, uh. Oof, Larry. Well, to be honest, I think I'd rather be one foot taller. I don't want to get any shorter. I'd be five foot five, and then I'd be shorter than uh, what's his what's his bloody name? You know, um, uh, Mission Impossible. Oh gosh. Mission Impossible? Uh, yes. Um, um, wait, 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 what? Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise, that's it, yes. Did you know he actually has a platform that runs a line along the side of his co-stars to make him look taller? Oh, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, yes, I, I, yes. I'm with you. I'd rather be a foot taller, I guess, you know. Nifty is a little bit taller than me, so I'd like to, you know, be just a little bit taller, just to, just to impress, and I can be, maybe I can be tall enough to, to hit Vaggy every once in a while, because she's always bullying yes. me. Yes. And don't forget, have you seen how tall my wife is? If I get shorter, then, you know, well... <clears throat> uh, don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing, but I think I'd rather go upwards than downwards. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, let's see who won this. And... Oof, look at that, whoa. 84%, I mean, wow. I mean, wow, we, have, we kicked this game's ass. Yeah, this, this was... This I was can't nothing. believe that 64,000 people would want to be shorter. Maybe, What's wrong with maybe those are tall people who are already too tall. Maybe, yeah. That would yeah. make sense. Most of those Scandinavians, they, they grew very tall. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh are Amazon girls and... Yeah, they're, they're really oh, tall. Oh, my, yes. So, uh, yeah, all right, guys. Well, Wolfgo, that was indeed a fine game. Thanks. I had fun too. I've been thinking. Do you have any interest in learning angelic abilities? Hmm? What? Yes. He shows remarkable aptitude for it. He's going to be learning demonic abilities from Alistair, it would seem. And with his connection to you, it should be relatively easy to learn. In fact... Whoa, cool! You'll have to learn at your own pace, my boy. That goes without saying. But for now, I figured I'd give you my sense of style. So, how does it feel? Well, I do feel stronger and more angelic. I also have a strange craving for caramel apples. Oh, that's completely normal. Wait, Dad. This is so sudden. Why are you doing this? I already planned to teach him, but at my own pace. True, but my way is much more fun, darling. 
So are you just here to undermine my authority? Well, yes. Quite right, my dear. Dad, I love you, but you leave me no choice. What do you mean? Well, you're playing Would You Rather with my Wolfie. I made a little phone call to the only person in hell capable of putting you in your place. Capable of putting me in my place? <laughs> My, my, what an active imagination you have, my dear. I am the king of hell, an absolute ruler of the underworld. All denizens fall under my dominion, including you, my dear beloved daughter. <laughs> so you see, my dear, there is no one capable of putting me in my place. Oh, really? Okay. Mom! B what? Hello, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this, uh... Fabulous game that Wolf Cool has introduced me to. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on this video. And of course, join me on Has Been Madness, where we have crazy times as well. Arriva Deji, Bella. Just kiss it and give it to your inner demons again